Hey guys, this is Matt with Forex Successful Traders. I'm going to do a quick video here on uh, market cycles and how you can recognize these and hopefully take advantage of them um, while you're uh, trading. So here you have your basic downtrend formed that's characterized by lower lows and lower highs. And you can see on its way down, it did have a lot of support and resistance going on here. What was support became resistance. And that happened a few times on its way uh, down. And then down here we have what's, uh, it broke support, held it as resistance, and then broke back above it. So that would be our false breakout. That's usually signal, signaling a reversal. So you can see here that we did break our downtrend. Um, and from here you can either get a retracement you know up into this area or you can end up getting into a range like we did here and that this was where our first resistance was set right here and then we had our support at our first level here and we played this range for quite a while it's a rather big range about 200 points and after we broke the range um, one would anticipate a, a higher move and this one really just stayed in the even smaller range, used this prior resistance here as support. And then once we came back in it, that's usually a sign of a reversal and a continuation. As you can see here, uh, this, this is what set our trend line here. Um, we held support for a little bit, and then we finally broke out and continued our downtrend. So let's move on to the next one. And this is uh, trends within trends. So you can see here, price started up. We got our first trend line set right here, trend line number one. And we kind of played along this until we finally broke it. And you can see that when we broke it, came back up, tested it as resistance, and we came down into this area here. Now this area, um, of course you wouldn't have had this trend line in, we weren't set yet. But you did have this prior resistance level here and this support level. So price did bounce off of this. This allowed you to set this trend line here. And within this, we kind of came up and we formed a little trend within a trend. So you could also draw this trend line in here and kind of play it as a channel almost. You can see we came up, we tested the down, the back side of this, came down back to it. And ultimately the, the top of this move was our first trend line here. And we came down, broke through this one, and used this trend line here, the longer trend line that was set off of this one, and so on. So another little market cycle uh, that you can watch out for and uh, hopefully pick up in your trading. And then now we have uh, channels. And this is basically just uh, a trend, whether it be up or down, trend line formed. And then you can also draw one on the top side or the bottom side. Uh, I like to use support and resistance in my channels to kind of give me entries if I'm going to take them. Um, or I can see when the channels may be dying out. Uh, but basically this prior resistance was broken. And it was respected on the move back up as support. And it was also right here uh, next to our upward trend line. And we moved, we moved uh, up through this level here. Um, you can see we have we had a lot of price action at our resistance line. We came back down and tested this prior resistance here, used it as support, and we were also here at our upward trend line. And we continued to move forward. We can see now we're getting kind of heavy. Um, price is not wanting to push higher as as strong as it was back here. So this is something where we may look for uh, some reversals. Alright, so now we're going to talk a little bit about Fibonacci. Um, I usually go from the low or a strong candle if there is one. So in this case I went from the strong candle and I took it from the strong candle down here up to the highs right here. And I kind of made this pretty visually, visually easy to see for you guys where um, our price bounced from. Um, you can see here we came down, we tested the 23.6 and uh, had a couple nice bounces off of that. Finally broke through it and tested this fib and went right back up to where we had prior support and used this as resistance. And we kind of 
whipsawed around through this range for a while, working our way down to the 50%, which gave it some really nice bounces, right up into this area here that's been really pivotal. And from there, we just came straight down. Um, the 61.8 we didn't get very much of a bounce off of, but the 76.4 gave us a nice bounce up to use the 61.8 as resistance. And we kind of played around in this area for a while before working our way uh, back above it and continuing on with this trend. And so we'll also take a look at an example to the downside. And this one I included the four hour here so we can kind of see what it looks like on a longer term. Basically I set my fib here from the high to the low and you can see the bounce here. We kind of hung around the 23.6 for a while. We got in a big range and there it was used. And once we worked above it, we used it again here for a nice bounce. And as soon as we got back above, we used the 50% here for a really nice bounce. And as you can see, if you look over on the four hour, this is the same chart. You can see that our 50% here, right here and here, was also the reversal point. And that's usually what happens in most cases. Um, the 50% and the 61.8 are really good reversal points or uh, basically where your trend will continue. Okay, so I hope this helps out with your uh, trading and helps you recognize more of what cycle the market is in.